Hello and welcome to Forever Rugby on Forever Sports. The Springboks have just annihilated Portugal, 64 points uh, to 21. A spirited Portugal side, um, it must be said. And uh, they came and uh, I'll tell you what, their fans will be leaving very proud of them because they're playing against the world champions. They're playing against the best team in the world and yet never went away. Um, you know, at the end of the day, you kind of see the levels that there are to the game and there are lots of levels to the game and uh, unfortunately you know this is kind of what world rugby are trying to remedy um in having games like this is we've got to try and reduce the gap between your world champions and you know your sort of 15 16 ranked sides in the world and games like this are so important but at the end of the day um despite playing with for with 14 men for well basically we're playing with 30 men for about 65 minutes and uh, played with 14 men, um, sorry, played 14 men for 65 minutes and um, played with 30 men um, for about, yeah, about 20 odds or so um, throughout the game. So basically the red card to Andre Esterhazen, um it was in the third minute, so that didn't help at all. So that's why I mentioned that, in fact, we were down to 14 men. But in between that, we were then down to 13 men on two different occasions. So three yellow cards for the box. Discipline, not really good enough. Um, and, and a lot of people having an issue with Holly Davis and the referee. I don't think, I think maybe the last um, last yellow card to, to uh, Kieran Horn was a bit harsh. But um, I'll talk about the, the cards to Kurt Lawrence uh, as well as to Andreas Tazen in a little bit. But before we do that, let's do uh, let's have a look at the game and see how things happen. Because we actually went behind, uh, did the box, which was not part of the plan. Uh, but what a, what a counter track try it was. Um, so Andreas Tazen, um, yeah, we caught in, in, in the second minute. The box then got the ball and started building a bit of confidence. And turn over ball. And then I'll tell you what, they turned it up, didn't they? It's in the Portuguese. Uh, a beautiful kick in behind um, from uh, Bento and then Dos Santos running onto it and uh, running the length of the field to score in the 10th minute uh, with Demore adding the extras. Um, unfortunately, did not last long. The first of four debutants to score in Jan Hendrik Vessels as he barged over in the 12th minute. And then let's kind of just go through the try, shall we? Boot lazy, 17th minute on the back of a more. Kirkley Orange uh, down the right hand side. So, so, so. Um, good. The country and by the way, today was absolutely superb. Uh, Miley Bok adding the extras there. Miley Bok not good off the tee. We'll have a chat about that as well. Uh, ben Jason Dixon then got his first international try in the 26th minute. Um, just relentless pressure after a decent break and then a pick up and go. I love the Miley Bok. Yeah, create that space, went straight through the middle. Uh, Kurt Lawrence then got yellow card for a crop goal in the 33rd minute. And an important uh, discussion to have regarding that yellow card. Because a week ago, we were complaining about the lack of sanction that was happened to Kaelin Doris and to James Ryan for the crop roll on Malcolm Marks. Now, we cannot on one hand be angry that there was no sanction last week and then be angry that there's a sanction this week. Um, because while it sucks for us to be kind of on the receiving end and you kind of feel it's unfair, hopefully we look at this as a case of World Rugby almost admitting that last week's sanction was not dealt with seriously enough, for example, and that now this is an example of how it should be dealt with. Bang, crop call, yellow card. I mean, there was a yellow card last week, um, but I think there probably could have been one for James Ryan. So we can't sit there and get hung up on that on the fact that um, there was a yellow card for the crop call, because it was a yellow card. You got a yellow card, as far as I'm concerned, you know, discussion over. Um, despite going down to what was then 30 men, though, uh, Lacanya Am scored a nice little individual try. Miley Leibach, him and Miley Leibach and, and Fassi Mpimpi were the entire back line at stage. Um, but uh, nicely worked with Leibach, creating a bit of space for the Kanye arm in the gap. Good turn of pace, nice little shimmy. Over he went, Leibach nailing a brilliant touchline conversion to make it 29 points to 7 at half time. Shortly after half time, Marcus Olam and Pimpi um, uh, combined with Satch Fahmi Gomazulu, who came on off the bench. A set move off the back of a scrum. Um, the Kanye arm first receiver, Satch Fahmi Gomazulu. Pops it to Mapimpi on the angle. Round he went. And uh, and then Mapimpi, once again, Sash Fahmi Gomezu, the combination. This time, uh, Sash Fahmi Gomezu, individual brilliance by him. Um, deep kick in from Portugal, turnover ball. Sash Fahmi Gomezu looks up, sees the space, bang, straight through the middle. Gets past another player, delays his pass, one-handed. Gets it out to, uh, to Mapimpi, who then finishes into the corner. Things were going swimmingly at 43 points to 7. But Portugal said, no, 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 we're not actually done. Dos Santos went over for another try in the 59th minute, uh, this time converted by Cabral. And then Kuhn Horn became the next debutant to uh, score a try. The 64th minute off the back of a scrum. Moria van der Berg 
ball in between his legs, pops it behind him, directly into Q and Horner's teammate, who has the pace around the outside. He goes over, Sash Palmer Gomezulu nails another conversion. And uh, a few minutes later, Andre Hugo Fenter went over. It became the fourth debutant uh, to score a try. Once again, Sash Palmer Gomezulu, no issue off the tee. Q and Horner got a yellow card, taking the man out of the air. Thought it was a bit harsh, to be perfectly honest. Um, but then... Uh, in that move, it was a try basically because of the, the red card to under estates, and we always had gaps out wide, which is always going to be the case. And credit to Portugal, they realized this and they exploited it. They went with the cross kicks and uh, caught us out. Um, so Madeira went over in the 74th minute, and then nice little turnover ball right at the end. And Maximum Pimpi goes over for his hat trick. Satisfy me, Gomezulu says, Thank you very much. He notched up another um, conversion to make it five out of five. Um, let's talk a little bit about the refereeing, because I think that's going to be an interesting uh, discussion. Now, Holly Davidson was in her first ever match with the Springboks, uh, pretty much her first real sort of tier one uh, sort of test, and already seeing a lot of negative comments about her. I don't think it was that bad, to be perfectly honest. I think we were horrendously ill-disciplined in that first half, um, and, and I think that uh, uncharacteristically so. So... You know, the big the big sort of ones that we need to talk about are the red card and the yellow card, which ironically weren't even actually her decisions. Um, the Andre Este has been one. The first time I watched it, I didn't think that there was head contact. On second viewing, and when you slow it down, there is head contact. And uh, you then have to go to the law book. And the rule said, as soon as there's head contact, um, you start at a red card threshold, and then you bring it down. So what's the mitigation? Was there a change in drop in height from um, Jose Lima? No, there wasn't. Um, was Andre Estes an upright in the tackle? Yes, he was. Um, and, uh, you know, so where's, there's, there's just no mitigation. He's upright in the tackle on a player that wasn't dipping, for example. There was ill clashed, and, um, and it's a red card, I think, at the end of the day. Um, so, yeah, I don't think we can really argue about the fact that the matter is there was him um, head contact and, um, you know... Once that is the case, you know, he went to the bin of the yellow card and the TMO then had the bunker check and was upgraded to a red. Look at the orange one. I think that's the yellow card. It's a crop roll. It's pretty straightforward. Um, so no issues for me from there. Um, in terms of uh, performances, I mean, interesting. I mean, Mindy Box going to get slaughtered because of his poor kicking performance. But goodness me, what another game he had with ball in hand. You know, if you had Sash Farm Gomez, you starting at 15, for example, um, which I think if, you know, could become quite a, a genuine case for it and, and he were to kick the goal. Mike Leibach still, still gets this back line and this team operating on a different level. It really, really is good. Um, but yeah, so in terms of other big performances, I thought that uh, if you go through it, everybody really played. I don't think too many people played badly. I think Evan Ruiz missed the chance to impress. Um, Andre Estes obviously only played two minutes. But uh, Ben Jason Dixon I thought was really, really good. I thought that um, Thomas Torrey was nice and solid. Arkansas never got man of the match. Another big performance from him. Um, I thought that Lakanya Am looked close to his best. Um, Maxwell Pimpy running and tries. Um, Fassi looked okay. Um, so I thought generally most players uh, played pretty well. We'll go through the player ratings in a bit. But uh, genuinely, no massive issues from me from that test. We got some experience there. I don't think too many players have literally launched themselves into the coach's plans. But I think most players show that they are good enough at this level and they kind of should be in and around this box squad. Uh, but yeah, let me know what you think down in the comments below.